Hi, this is uh, Thomas Mut from Country Music News International. Today jumping in for Christian, because Christian uh, is sitting in the back and having a, a small call and just pushed me forward <laughs> to this little chair, so I have to do this now. So with me is Justin Corley. So, so Justin, you're typically the guy who's not in front of the recording screen, but uh, behind these nice glasses and we are in a great studio. So what, what, what do you typically do when all these musicians are? Just, 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 just very quickly. Yes. So, uh, so it's my job to set up all the microphones, make sure that all the sounds are correct, uh, and then figure out what gear everything goes through, and basically to make it sound good, and make sure that the musicians feel comfortable uh, when I talk talk to them and and, and communicate. So, uh, so everyone has has a good time. Everything sounds great. That's that's my job. So, so, so usually I, I assume that you have a good look at the musicians also while they're not recording. <laughs> so everybody's probably wondering what those musicians do when they are not doing their normal stuff. So I wonder, or we wonder basically, if there are some, occasionally some awkward things that happen which you see or in which you might be able to share with us. Uh, you know, usually they just say their prayers and they, you know, uh, that they're really good. No, uh, <laughs> most people are in Nashville are very nice and, and well behaved. There have been a few um, interesting moments. Uh, I can't say exactly what's happened, but the, a few of those rock star stories are absolutely real. True. <laughs> So we probably <laughs> won't be able to get into the details here. Uh, so let's focus more on the technology. So yes. I, I had the pleasure that you showed me a huge thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's some kind of instrument in the, in the back, uh, which was the store server. So it's called a plate, right? Yes. So, so maybe you can tell us a little more about that, that thing. Yes. So we have a, uh, an EMT uh, 140 plate reverb. And it's a big term. But uh, essentially, it's a big metal plate that, uh, that reverberates, it moves, and then there are pickups, and it makes a reverb. Um, so it makes uh, like, like the echo that you hear in, in like a church. And uh, uh, yeah, this one in particular came from a very famous studio in New York called The Record Plant. And you can hear it on all kinds of recordings from... John Lennon to Alice Cooper to Kiss to uh, Bob Dylan and many 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 more. So it's a really unique piece, and I'm very happy to have it here. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a it's a huge thing. It's not just something small you put into your recording studio. It's, oh, it's, it takes a lot of space. It's it's very big and uh, it weighs about um, six to eight hundred pounds. Wow. Um, I don't know what that is in kilos, but it's it's a lot. <laughs> Can you imagine? Yes. So, so what other exciting technology you you're using? You're usually uh, using here. What, what you want to share with us? Uh, we have. Uh, we're we're very happy to have a complement of both vintage microphones um, and vintage equipment, and also some newer equipment. So uh, we get to do kind of a, a hybrid approach. So, um, you know, we have. Vintage Neumann microphones, uh, which are some of my favorite vintage AKG microphones, and then uh, also a lot of new um, new pieces that we get to use and uh, and intertwine with with the old. Yeah, when we did the the scenic tour earlier, I also saw a very big taping machine with twenty something tracks. Yes, <laughs> yes, we have a it's a, a an analog tape machine, yeah. and uh, it's it uses two inch analog tape. And you get 24 tracks. So, uh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So, and Do you still use that? I mean, <laughs> you know, uh, I no, not yet, but we will. And uh, it, it, just trying to find a, a way to utilize that in the modern age. Um, you know, I have some ideas. And, uh, and it definitely, tape has a sound, a really warm, um, vintage sound. So we can record things in the computer. And then just take the selected tracks that, that we want to have that vintage sound and dump them to the tape machine and put them back into the computer. And then they sound like they were recorded many years ago. Awesome. Yes. So thank you very much for this. So yeah. just, just 
tell us again where we are right now? Yes. This is a... So this is uh, Soul Train Sound Studios in Nashville, Tennessee, uh, and, and it was originally uh, Scruggs Sound from the famous producer uh, Randy Scruggs. So, pretty cool. So thank you very much for being here with us. So this is Country Music News International, and if you would like to hear more about uh, us and uh, the uh, Soul Train and about Country Music News International, just tune in. Thank you. <laughs>